I appreciate nature in all her glory. Oh dear, little boy. And that is the start of things to come for you, little one. One starts and they all start. Shame, but he was given a, a proper run around that one. Again, one of last year's youngsters. Being put in his place by one of the older rams and he set everybody else off. I'm just going to pull forward a little bit so we can see a giraffe in the bush there. <laughs> Giraffe moved. That's not on. It is very surreal, I think. Okay. Very surreal to watch lions hunting. <laughs> Giraffe just doesn't want to be on camera. Okay, well, let's try from the other side. Um, I've watched the hunt... And I've, most times I've watched, it's been unsuccessful. The time that we actually had from start to finish, we watched the stalking. That it was actually here on Buffalo Cut Line, and we'd seen the the Uncahumas, and they'd been lying down, and you know they hadn't really been doing much. So we left them to it, and I wanted to head back when it got a little bit cooler. Sorry, Zebra. Where did giraffe go now? Being a little bit naughty here. Anybody else? We're following the scent of a leopard. Hmm. How do you hide? Oh, there. How do you hide a giraffe in the bush? Very, very easily. Um hold on speedway so yeah um, we're on Buffalo Hook Cut Line and we saw the buffalo run across the road or well, walk across the road actually and we went we carried on towards Tamborti Dam and I just had to look on the wall and there was one of the Uncahuma females so they had already gotten up before we got back to where they'd been sleeping and they'd spotted the buffalo with a calf and the hunt was on. Cubs were left behind. We couldn't see too much, but we, as I say, we saw the stalk. And then, just to realise what was happening, we turned around <clears throat> and we had the buffalo run back across the road. Lionesses streaming across the road in front of us. And there was one lioness, I counted that, and I knew there was four, and I counted three, and I didn't know where the fourth one was, and I was just worried that if she ran across in front of us, we might have a collision. So I had to uh, slow down a little bit. And then she did, she popped out of the bush, ran across the road. And I tried to keep up with them and literally just as we, we got to the the end the other side of the fire break, that's where we saw them. They had actually uh, one of the females had, had managed to get a grip. Very surreal. It happens so quickly and yet other times we've watched, you know, it's hours. Very, very surreal. Um and it's one of those that you, you watch on documentaries and, you know, a lot of people that, when, when they go on safari, you ask them, what, what do you want to see? They say, oh, no, lions hunting. I've had that answer so many times, but it's very rare you actually get a chance to see it. And I think that's why we're, we're fascinated by it, because it is, it's, it's nature in her extreme, it's, it's nature in the most probably one of the most powerful moments emotionally 
because obviously you know you've got this animal and it its life is being taken from it for the chance of another animal to live and it really is an emotional roller coaster. I mean, that's the only way you can really put it. But to actually see the power of these animals and to actually understand how they manage to 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 do this, I think we find absolutely fascinating because you don't see it very often. Paula are watching something. Could be this giraffe on its own, could be there's other members of a herd that it's with somewhere off into the bush. Maybe that's what the impala are watching. What's up, ladies? There's only one or two watching while they're chewing the cud. The draft doesn't seem too bothered. Chip -chir. Who wants to hear a woodland kingfisher? Liz. Liz, if you're watching Liz, there you go. They've really found their voice now. Okay. We had a really nice sighting of giraffe yesterday. I'm still keen to head back to those impala legs. Let's see if we can bump into our favourite family. One of our favourite families. Our favourite leopard family.